Oh, hi there. So, uh, uh, last week I managed to post something about a, uh, an anaconda that I had put some shock cannons on and I'd combined them with multi cannons and I was having a lot of fun and, uh, PVE with that. And, um, always trying to, well, hoping at some point to get around to improving uh, my game with this in some way. Uh, the next little project I came up with on my next day off yesterday was power management, which is something I've never really dealt with in this game because it's just too much trouble to take my hand off the one part of the keyboard and go all the way over there and press those little arrow keys. So. I was just doing stuff like, you know, setting them up in the middle and kind of leaving them there, hoping that was okay. Uh, but I knew there's, you know, there's better ways to do it, right? Um, so I was watching a YouTube video the other day, and one of these, uh, one of these hotshot PvP guys, and I noticed that whenever he fired, um, his pips would just, would just like zoom right over there to the weapon side and as soon as he stopped firing they would go whoop right back over there to the shield side and this was all happening like as he fired so i was looking at that and i was like yeah that would be neat i assume he's got some kind of macro going on there and i kind of assumed he was using auto hotkey for that because it seems to be ubiquitous with elite dangerous auto hotkey but after I started uh, fooling around with it a little bit, it occurred to me that yeah, he's probably he's probably using some kind of uh, software that comes with his uh, $400 Hotas or whatever it is he's using over there. Uh, I know there's uh, there's software that comes with the with the thing I'm using, but I don't like to use that stuff. I wanted to try to do it with uh, Auto Hotkey and. <sighs> so yeah, that's how I spent yesterday morning was fooling around. I came up with this brilliant piece of hack work. Um, this was my solution. Um, it wasn't my first. It wasn't my first attempt. First, I decided I was just gonna. No, uh, yeah, I was just gonna use auto hotkey and use the fire buttons as hotkeys, and have the fire button uh, shift the pips around. And then, uh, and then, and then trigger the the firing mechanism through a, like a second key or something, and uh, that worked really badly. Um, yeah, the thing with auto hotkey is it is it's a script, right? And it's relatively high level garbage, and with high level stuff like this. You know, there's just going to be issues because it's kind of like, you know, you've got a really specific idea of what you want to happen. Um, but, you know, you're trying, it's like, you, it's like uh, there's a specific a a set of actions. It's like you want to do a specific thing with your hand, but then you're wearing these big woolly mittens, you know. So um, there's, there's definite limitations on what you can do with high level shit. Um, and this isn't, well, yeah, and that's what I was running into. And with the first attempt, doing it by, you know, just having the fire key as a hot key, shift the pips, and then trigger the firing mechanism, you know, it would it would interfere with the firing. And then ultimately, since there's two fire keys, one for, one for primary and one for secondary, uh, these would interfere with each, other's, with each other in ways that I wasn't really finding a way to get around with uh, without probably adding this to just a whole a huge load of extra logic in here somewhere which i really don't want to do because this is this is script you know it's slow um we want stuff to happen fast here hopefully so um i was going to give up in despair but then it occurred to me well you know auto hotkey probably has the ability to do like exceptions and uh and uh and timed uh and uh and, and functions that you know occur, occur every so often just based on a timer or something and yeah they sure do, it sure does so that's what you got here this is just the this here is just the this here is just the standard garbage that goes at the beginning of any of these scripts and then here's just just set a few variables uh to help out uh 
And then here's the, the panic button to kill the whole thing. And then down here, um, yeah, well, anyway, here you go. Set timer. This just says that every 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 800 milliseconds you're going to uh, auto hotkey is going to run this this routine which is this one here and this is what does the deal uh it just uh all it does is it checks the state of your fire keys and yeah i use left shift and left control to fire yep that's what i do in all games just because i do there's no good reason for it that's just what i do it's just what I do. Um, so anyway, it just checks the state to see if these keys are up or down. And uh, the state of it up or down is stored in these little variables here. Uh, and then you just do a little bit of logic. Uh, if, there, if either one of them is down, and if, you haven't, and if you haven't shifted the pips lately, you go ahead and shift all the pips around to where you want them. And you turn the key delay all the way down and shift the pips and then turn the, the key delay back up to the uh, back up to the default and then um, set a set a variable so that you can so that the routine can remember later that oh yeah I've already done this right and then return and then come back here after another 800 minute 800 milliseconds and go through all this again uh, and the other check it does is uh, if either of the if if both of them are up, if both fire buttons are up, and if you have shifted key here lately, uh, then you want to shift them back to the shields because you've already shifted them over the weapons, and both keys are up, meaning you're not firing anymore. So you want you want the so you want the shield to have all the power. So you're going to shift everything back the other way. Same deal. And those are the only two checks that get done. Uh, and that's the best I could do with this so far. I'd like to, there's still some issues. I mean, it mostly works okay. I'm going to demonstrate here in a minute. Uh, it mostly works okay, but there's a couple issues. There's a little bit of hesitation at the beginning of the firing uh, where the script is trying to get, get up to speed uh, or something. And... And then, in addition to that, it doesn't. It does still interfere with the firing a little bit. At least it did before, when I had the uh, the timer interval set to 500 millis. I've upped it to 800 you here, and I haven't tried that yet. I'm going to see how that works out. Uh, so hopefully that'll work a little better. And the other thing is that um, see, this script doesn't actually have any way to know how much charge you've got in the weapons or the shields or whatever it it's you know it, it it keeps this it keeps this little variable here to tell it that it's shifted the pips but it can't there's no easy way to tell it you know how much charge is in the weapons it doesn't know um, so if you if your weapons are are draining the capacitors there and if you're shifting right out of uh, weapons as soon as you stop firing, your, your capacitors are going to get drained over time, and that's what's happening. So I still have to go over there to the arrow keys once in a while and shift things over a little bit just to keep the capacitors charged at some point. And, um, yeah, I'm not seeing a way out of that at this point other than to just get a better, uh, a better distributor or smaller weapons. I'm kind of wondering if the Guardian distributor could could power this uh, this class four laser I'm using without draining the capacitor. That might be nice, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm tr I'm currently trying to locate some pirate missions, and when I after I do, I'll I'll, I'll do some dog fighting with this. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good day.
Mission objective detected.